Good afternoon and welcome to BizTech's ASEAN Midday Market Watch. Our guest today is Vishnu Varadhan. He's the Head of Economics and Strategy at Mizuho Bank in Singapore. Vishnu, great to have you on the show again. Hi, Brian. Thanks for having me. Always good to be here. Now, uh, Vishnu, before I, we get your insights, let's take a look at how markets in the region are performing. Now, we've got the Nikkei that is down 0.29% at 28,673.21. The Shanghai Composite is at 3,595.73. It's down 0.73%. The Hang Seng is down 1.5% uh, uh, at 29,480.11. The ASX 200 is down 0.38% at 6,797.6. The Kospi bucks the trend just up slightly at 0.04% at 3,162.03. Closer to home, we've got Bursa, Malaysia, which is up slightly 0.5% at 1,602.7. And the SGX is trading down 0.71% at 2,995.74. So Vishnu, what's your take on how markets have performed this morning? I mean, it, it does look like there's a little bit of caution, uh, if not concerns, creeping in. And, and for good reason too. I mean, we've had markets on a better footing uh, earlier, uh, primarily because we had in uh, the US inauguration uh, without any adverse events. So that was, I think, a relief that was welcome. Biden getting to work was also seen as a positive thing. However, what's really overwhelming now is that is, is, is the sheer fact that Biden has got his work cut out for him. And COVID is not the least of it. I mean, we've, we've seen how uh, the proliferation of, of a more virulent strain, uh, not just in the US, uh, but globally is, is beginning to uh, you know, throw governments off track. I mean, we, we, are, we are all getting back into, uh, we, we're tending more towards lockdown than not uh, and various levels of restriction with Biden warning of uh, deaths reaching uh, 500,000. Uh, and so these things are all weighing on markets. And, and after having come up so far, uh, I, I think the prudent thought there is to take some profits. Now, what should we expect from US-China policy in a Yellen-led treasury? I, I, we've had some revelation from what Yellen has said, um, uh, but no total surprises. And, and here's how it pans out. So Yellen actually echoes with what we thought of the, uh, of the Biden administration taking over from Trump. Essentially, the tough on China stance remains uh, undeterred. Now, nothing changes in, in substance. The form, though, changes. The approach to being tough on China changes dramatically. So but no longer the brunt in uh, that I'm, I'm not sure I would refer to that as a blunt instrument. I mean, uh, that, that was a... <laughs> administration. That, that was a case of, you know, uh, throwing the kitchen sink at sometimes and at others uh, popping open the champagne. Uh, so that kind of confusion leaves the room and you get a, uh, a more measured, uh, but a, uh, you know, very well uh, telegraphed uh, passage uh, towards tightening the screws on, on areas that uh, I, I think there's, there's, uh, there's some disagreement over. So th these things uh, we can expect will be in place. Now, how about the direction of the US dollar then under a Yellen uh, regime? Yeah, uh, Yellen has once again shown us that she is uh, uh, multidimensional and, and very much more nuanced. Uh, so she's done the first thing very successfully. She has backed away from the strong dollar rhetoric that many people would have associated with the non, any non-Trump administration because typically uh, that would have been the treasury position uh, she has steered away from that and said that, uh, established two things. First, uh, that uh, the US is not after competitive devaluation. So she's establishing a certain currency moral high ground. And then she's gone on to say that it will be market determined. Uh, and I think embedded in there is also a warning to trading partners that they should not come across uh, as uh, engaging in any mercantilist uh, policies to, to, for, for trade advantages. So that threat remains there, albeit in a very okay. uh, uh, friendly framework. Now then, what does the, the Yellen Treasury then hold for ASEAN in particular? 
I mean, that's an interesting question and that leaves a lot of unknowns out there. Uh, our, our general sense is, you know, after equivocating about the dollar earlier, our sense is that the dollar will weaken slightly this year uh, with a bit of volatility around it, depending on the risk events and headlines. So on that note, it means that most ASEAN currencies should hold ground or be slightly firmer as well. So there should be no bone to pick there. But it'll be very interesting to see whether the Yellen-led Treasury uh, begins to take ASEAN countries off the monitoring list. We've got Singapore, we've got Malaysia, we've got Thailand. So those are the big events to watch to see. Uh, and Vietnam, not to mention, which is, has been named a currency manipulator. So uh, whether the Yellen Treasury backs away from that uh, in the near term, and, and what that means for business sentiments and investor sentiments as they are relocating supply chains out of China. These are some questions that linger, although the pivot to Asia means that overall that we are quite positive that uh, ASEAN stands to gain uh, on the whole, but there is, uh, you know, the, the, the lack of complete clarity on this situation uh, means that we need to watch this space quite carefully. Now, Vishnu, looking ahead, what events or data announcements should we be looking out for later today as well as the week ahead? I, I think, you know, in, in the very near term, there are two things that uh, comes to mind. First is uh, we will probably de-emphasize on data uh, and we're going to watch uh, COVID and COVID-related restrictions very carefully and, and that uh, encapsulates the, the thought behind what we're watching now, which is to say backward-looking data become less important, even if they reinforce the recovery, because what we really want to focus on is whether there are any delays and dim uh, diminution to any of the recovery uh, path that we had projected. So that, that becomes very important. Also, the policy decisions and announcements become very important uh, from a fiscal standpoint, how we're going to support uh, the COVID proliferation now, uh, as well as from a monetary policy stance, uh, whether the Fed has, uh, will unveil anything new uh, in the next uh, three to six months uh, to support this administration. These things remain quite important. Now, Vishu, thank you very much for your insights. We've been speaking to Vishnu Varadhan, Head of Economics and Strategy at Mizuho Bank on Biztex ASEAN Midday Market Watch. I'm Brian Fernandez. Check out www.biztex.asia for business and technology conversations. <laughs>